27-year-old Jessica Marshall was a branch manager at the Bank of Idaho in Spokane, Washington. Last summer, she started stealing cash from the vault. She covered her tracks by falsifying count sheets to reconcile the cash on hand. Now, there's supposed to be a witness to those cash counts, but she was a beloved boss, and her employees were happy to sign off, even though they weren't present for the count. Jessica then began processing fraudulent deposits into her husband's account. Eventually, bank auditors began to notice discrepancies, and Jessica started covering her tracks. She hopped onto a co-worker's email and sent a message explaining the problem as an innocent computational error. Then she hopped on another employee's email and started deleting incoming messages from the auditors who were seeking additional backup documentation. Eventually, the House of Cards collapsed, and the audit established that she stole $345,000 that summer, and the bank called in the FBI. To her credit, Jessica didn't put up much of a fight. She entered a quick guilty plea to bank embezzlement charges. It's not entirely clear what she did with the money she stole, but it must have been a hell of a summer for her. As a result, she'll have a sizable restitution bill when she's released from prison. Based on the dollar amount she stole, my best guess is that she's looking at two years of incarceration and a lifetime ban from working in banking thereafter. I hope it was worth it. And that's how it all went down. Please follow me for daily crime stories. Have a great day and be cool.